This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So tell me what your social battery is on right now. Are you like full? Are you drained? Are you just like, I need a new battery? Well, it can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially social gatherings, picking up after winter. Listen, y'all know I'm on tour, so I'm meeting a lot of you all for the first time. So I am the socializing queen over here. Well, what's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people, right? Maybe you're the true extrovert and you just love the energy of other people. Or maybe you need some alone time because, listen, some introverts, that's the only way they're going to recharge is just being with themselves. Therapy can get your self-awareness to build up a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I just recently did a video about how even though I'm an extrovert, when it comes to like networking events, I get really awkward. It's very difficult for me and I almost need another person to help guide me into conversations and uh, trying to do a lot of networking events does drain the mess out of me. But being able to talk to my therapist and coming up with strategies in order for me to be able to be the social butterfly that I like to be in all situations, as well as knowing when I need to reset and be in more comfortable situations for myself is something that I find very valuable, not only in my career, because it is very valuable in my career, but also in my social life. Well, if you're thinking about trying therapy, you should definitely give better help a try. It's um, completely online. It's designed to be extremely flexible, affordable, and just really work in your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch at any time if you need to switch therapists at no additional cost. Find your sweet, excuse me, find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash argue. Argue. Today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash argue. Argue. What's up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of Is, is This, this Gonna, gonna cause, cause an, an argument? argument? My name is Angel Tanksley, married to this sexy-ass man over here, a.k.a. Angel Lakita Moore, you know, acting, rapping, hosting, also known as That Chick Angel, That Chick Angel Whose voice is doing something stupid right now? Tell them who you are, sexy. What's happening, y'all? I'm the other host of This Is Gonna Cause an Argument, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Sexy. Tank. We got Raspy over here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is a, if this is your first time tuning in, it's a podcast we do every single week, me and my wonderful wife, and we talk about all the good things. We talk about all the bad things, all the ugly things, all the beautiful things. Uh, we pretty much talk about whatever the hell we want to as a married couple. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. And uh, we are joined every week by our wonderful, wonderful immediate family. That immediate family is our Patreon. Boop, you can boop, be a boop, part boop. of that immediate family. We call them the immediate family because we're a little closer. We sit and talk for about 10, 15 minutes before we start a recording. That's what we do. We talk, we pray, we laugh, we get mad, cuss each other out. They all up in the comments. You'll see us. Refer to our phones. They sent us questions for this specific episode because we got some special guests. They already know who those special guests are because we already let them know who they are. Anyway, you can be a part of their media family. All you got to do is go to patreon.com slash that chick, that chick angel sign up for the low, low of $5 a month. And we also joined by two wonderful sponsors. You going You've already heard from one. You're going so fast. Is would you off to the races? Let them know who the other sponsor is. Well, the first sponsor was Better Health. The second one is ZocDoc. You are going fast when you're just trying to get through it. Yeah. Okay, I was just asking. Better Health and ZocDoc. They're our sponsors for today. And let me tell you what it means to have a sponsor. It means that a company, a brand, a industry, decided that they wanted to partner with us because they thought they had a service or a product that our audience would like. So listen, if you hear something that you just like, hey, actually, I have been thinking about getting a therapist. Maybe better help might work for me. Just use our promo code and get that good old discount. Because one, you get a discount. Two, they know that this was a good partnership. So use them. Let them know we sent you. And yeah, thank you, Better Help and ZocDoc, for supporting today's episode. So, baby. What's got you in your feelings? 
Let me tell you what's got me in my feelings. I got something making me feel good. I really want to know, shoot, I should not even say what the segment was to see if you could remember what it was called this time. Probably not. Uh, what's got me in my feelings? What's got you in your feelings, boo? You know what? Ain't nothing got me in my feelings. You say this all the time. I do, because don't nothing be having me in my feelings. Marcus, I, uh, it does not matter if that is what's true. This is a segment. You got to have an answer. Well, you should have gave me something beforehand. You should have let me know. You know we're not doing Tanksley Pride because we have Tanksley Pride here. What's got me in my feelings? Will you tell them what's got you in your feelings? What's got me in my feelings still is this stupid voice of mine right now. As y'all can hear, it may, it sounds like I'm sick. This is just the way I've been sounding. Not because I'm sick. Because my voice is so mad at me. My vocal cords are angry. And I'm supposed to be going back into the studio next week. Mm -hmm. Where is my voice? I work in the studio. Studio. I work a job or have a career where my voice is my greatest tool. My face is my second one. So my first tool, my greatest tool is over here banged up. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. It makes me very, 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 very mad. So yeah, I learned how to host that too when you ain't at work. You're right. Also, that's the other part that sucks. I am very active. I'm active in my sorority right now. I'm active in Mocha Moms. I'm active at my children's school. I'm about to be active in another organization. And I just have to find time. And I know it's going to be strategizing um, to find ways to rest my voice when it's not dealing with my career. And I think it's possible. It's just. It's very possible. But while not giving up those things that I also enjoy. Well, you got to compromise. Uh, listen, I said it's possible. Mm -hmm. Don't be over here trying to judge me. I'm not judging. Anyway, what's got me in my feelings is uh, I don't like how I'm going to speak on us because I'm one of us, how black people always got to compare. Um, I was wa recently I was watching, is it cancel court? Is that where they have the judge? And like right now you got uh, Ryan Davis and Tony Baker and they debating, they are basically presenting as lawyers, they're debating uh, who's, who's the GOAT, LeBron James or Michael Jordan, um, which – the the debates are like top tier. Like hearing them state their cases, like it's I love it's good entertainment. I actually enjoy that. But this is something that constantly happens in our community. We got to have a top five, top ten. Who's better, Beyonce or Mike, uh, Michael Jackson or this and that? I'm like, you don't hear other coaches doing this. People are just great. They just great. Me personally, I I hate those comparison things because it's always. Biggie or Pac, they had two completely different styles. You can't compare the two. They're literally apples and oranges. Uh -huh. I hate when people do this. And then, like, I remember uh, one episode I said, uh, like, when Kobe was playing, I was not a Kobe fan. People like, oh, how you not like Kobe? I ain't never heard of that. There's a legend right now that's still playing LeBron James, and people hate that man. But let something horribly tragic happen, all of a sudden everybody was a big fan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I, I never, I didn't never compare. I don't like comparing Kobe, Jordan, LeBron. Let the three of them be great in their own right. They all great. You can't, for one, you can't compare the two because it's uh, LeBron and uh, Jordan. They two different generations. Very. The game ain't the same. The medicine ain't the same. Technology ain't the same. Working out ain't even the same. Yeah. Oh, he got this. He got that. And it, it don't matter. We do this in music. People that want to, they got, they want to tear, they, they can't just say, oh, this person's great and that person's better. No, this person's better. To you, it is. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. Some people like sweet potato pie. Some people like pumpkin pie. Like, <laughs> like why, does, why does your opinion, why does people's opinion become fact when they start comparing their own people? I hate it. I can't stand it. When people say top five, I can tell you my top five. My top five are pissed about how you going to say so-and-so's better than so-and-so because that's what the hell I like. Mm -hmm. I love Tupac. 
Ask me when's the last time I put Tupac and listened to Tupac in one of my vehicles. Today, he was listening. He loves It's him. probably been a year and a half. Because when I'm riding and cruising, I want to bow my head and get down to something. Now, a lot of times I don't want to hear Tupac got about eight solid songs that I can be like, now that's a club banger. I want to hear that all the time. That's going to matter. No. Too, shut the fuck up. Like, yes, your opinion. This is my opinion. Like, I don't, it, it, drive, it drives me crazy. I, I always see. hear these arguments. I always hear these debates. Why can't, why can't Prince just be great in his own right and Michael Jackson be great in his own right and Beyonce and uh, Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson and whoever else and any sports player, why can't they just be great? Mm. Why can't they just be let legends can live in the same on the same bookshelf? All these books can go on the same shelf. Shantae said he just made himself hype out of nowhere. Because <laughs> talking about it irritated me. Again, that show can I'm actually enjoying it. I actually enjoy watching them debate. But people be doing this in everyday life. There have been fights that broke out over this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like literally. Yeah. It's dumb. It's, I can't stand it. And we do it in everything. Well, who's the best? Why they gotta be the why does it have to be your best? That's all subjective. That's all <clears> opinion <throat> based. <throat> and that's what they treat it like. Like this building's taller than that building. No, this building's taller. There's no debate there because you can physically see that one building is at one elevation, the other building is at another elevation. That's gonna determine which one is taller. You saying who is better in this category or that category, unless you just gonna compare numbers and nothing else, none of that matters. That's all your opinion. What you said? Yeah, I can't. I ooh, it drives me crazy. It's just the dumbest that we do as a culture. I hate. It. I know we we are competitive. I know people be like, well, let's you know we've had to compete. I know that it's, it's what it's all about. But you can't compare two people that ain't never competed. That's stupid. They ain't never stepped on the court together, and if they did, it was four other dudes on their teams with them. <laughs> so you still can't compare them. I think. I think there's nothing wrong with a with a fun passion field debate about who's better, who's greater. But when it gets serious, yeah, I it's think when it it's gets like, serious. It's just like people will like full out argue. I look like I've I've gotten into these debates with people, and it just be fun and games. We just be laughing and like no, no, no. But when people get serious, and it's just like they got to live. And don't don't let it be on a platform like social media. And then you go and look at these comments and hear the stuff that people say. I'm just like, what? LeBron's trash. Jordan's trash. Your val- your point is already inv- if they're comparing one of your goats to somebody that's trash, then that means your goat is trash. Mm-hmm. Like for them to be in the discussion is already makes your point invalid. You got to give credit where credit's due. Credit's due to all of these greats, all of these musicians, all of these athletes, all of these activists is due, is due to all of them. Like don't limit somebody else just because you like one better than the other. That's what's got me in my feeling. We do that shit all the time. Cut it out. You, I want y'all to recall that Marcus said nothing had him in his feelings. It didn't until you pulled it out. I pulled it out. Somebody said my talking to Kev. Does Kev have one? I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know what that if is. If he does, yes, I'm talking to him too. I'm talking. To, I'm talking to all of us. I said our culture. What's got me feeling good is it's a, actually it's a oh I'll tell you what's got me feeling good. My little God baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, my little sister, Brisha, had her baby on March 21st, the same day as my sister's birthday. And I have been going over to the house every single day since I've been back from the tour and dressing that baby, holding that baby, talking to that baby. And I have just been in heaven. The, mm-hmm. She has the, uh, that little girl is the most agreeable little baby. I think she might even give little Marcus a run for her money. I mean, she's been here for three days. Well, no, you remember. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We'll see. Because I remember at one point in time, little Marcus would give you the blues when he was little, little. When I would leave No, that cry. was when once he was like. He was months and months. Yeah, he was months. Yeah, he was probably like five, six months. 
and he would cry Still while I was. He would cry a lot. As soon as I had to leave that door, he would cry and scream and yell. And then he, I would be pulling that back down the street. Yeah, he would start. He would stop crying probably a minute, maybe forty five seconds to a minute right before Angel walked into the house. And she would walk in and everything seemed good. He just sitting there just looking around. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'd be like, bullshit. oh, everything was fine. No. Mark would be like, absolutely not. It wasn't. It wasn't. He cried. And he cried. This baby, she lets her uncle hold him. Mm -hmm. She definitely lets me hold her. She be like, the only time she get upset is diaper changes. She don't like that butt to be out in the air. She be like, I don't know what this is, but it's dumb and fix it. Mm -hmm. um, she's just... She's so perfect. She's so perfect, and she's so widow. And I just put her right on top of my bosom, just bloop. Um. So yeah. yeah. She was sitting there, and just, I was holding her. She was. <laughs> no, she was sleep for a long time. She was like sleep, like she had worked a nine to five. Mm -hmm. She slept for a long. I said, "This baby sleep, sleep." Yeah. Then she woke up at one point and just turned her body toward mine and just went buried her face and went right back to sleep. Yes. <laughs> I have this one picture that her dad took. I was changing her diaper, and she got a hold of my hair. When I tell you, she had a grip. So I'm now, if this is her face, and it should be, like, down here when I'm changing her, I am like this because <laughs> she's got her little hand has got a whole big old handful of my hair. And I was like, and that's just fine, and mm. I'm okay with that. This is okay. That would be my favorite thing now when I hold babies. They Grab my beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for when they get too strong. I'm like, all right, you need to relax. She is so auntie's baby. Um, and it's just great to see uh, Prisha, who I've known for almost 20 years as a uh, mother. Because I was like, girl, I didn't almost yeah. know you for two decades. And you ain't never been a mama. Yeah, to see Prisha Br over the past year and a half, maybe two years. Mm-hmm. Has uh, not to say that she was immature, but has matured. She wasn't mature, mature and yeah, immature at the she, same time. <laughs> she has matured like ten years mm -hmm. in the past two years. It's yeah. crazy to see this uh, progression of her. I'd be looking at it. She'd be like, "What?" I'm like, "You just this is crazy." Yeah, it is. It really, really is. So that's got me feeling good. I always she said, "What you mean?" I said, "You were just my little dumbass little sister, man." <laughs> You over here, you done got married, got your little baby with you, and she got pregnant. And she's like, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's just, she's a perfect little baby. She really, really is. So um, a part of me is happy because I'll be off a tour soon, so I won't be, like, trying to divide time with, you know, spending time with my kids, my, my big baby, work, supporting my friend, doing all these uh organizations and stuff a lot of that is gonna feel less like uh being pulled everywhere um once the tour's over but uh I, what's also got me feeling good is that this has been I want to say a successful tour like we didn't sell out every venue which would have been lovely mm -hmm. but you know once we got past those first couple of dates <laughs> we made money mm-hmm which obviously is a big part of whether or not you should be on tours if <laughs> you can make money. Um, we made money. It's been drama-free. It's been really efficient. Only thing that our biggest hiccup outside of, like, understanding better the fees that theaters charge was um, merchandise. Kevin has allowed me to take over on new Here's the Thing merchandise, which I feel really great about. I like being trusted. I like feeling more like a partner versus a person just going along for the ride. Mm -hmm. So um, this has all been really eye-opening, a huge learning, um, just a huge learning thing. And that's that was a big part of me asking to go on tour with HTT. I knew there was some stuff that I'd be able to learn just because Kevin's uh, the machine that is around Kevin is has been operating longer. Um, so even when it comes to me and Marcus touring, if Marcus does any um, any type of uh, in-person appearances without me, if I tour by myself, just gives me a better understanding of the type of structure that needs to be around it so that it is the most cost-effective, 
makes the most sense and understand what these contracts look like. So it's just been a huge learning experience and I'm just so grateful that I was able to uh, do it and that Kevin was uh, down. I don't know if it's been uh, said or not, but I just want to call out and give flowers to the genius that knew that this would be successful mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank against you. all the <laughs> all the pushback and resistance <laughs> that she was giving when this, this was an idea birthed from her brain. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Good for you. I'm glad it's going good. Uh, what's got me feeling good, y'all? Um, I was just sitting here trying to think because it's uh, I'm as I'm working through a whole lot of stuff and it's uh, it feels like we're coming down from a bunch of stuff even before the NAACP stuff. I don't know why it feels like, all right, now everything, now we can get back to, I don't know why I have that feeling, but uh, as y'all know, TBTB is ending, filling those slots, filling that time with something. Mm -hmm. Um, And so my mind is working through all that stuff, like what's got me feeling good, what's got me feeling good. But one thing at the top of my uh, list right now, what's got me feeling good, y'all, I'm doing some customization to my 1966 Lincoln Continental. Doing some customization to it, y'all. I'm on... I'm going to basically drop it two inches. And I ain't putting the air rides and stuff on there. But anyway, going through the process of this ain't something that you could just go on a website and say, oh, I want to get this and do this to the car. You got to, like, piece together these things. Um, So to me, this is kind of that going back to when I was, uh, you know, in general contracting and an electrician of, you know, a lot of times you when you customize something, there is no buy a kit for it and just do it. You have mm-hmm. to piece together from all these different manufacturers and all these different companies and be very transparent about what you're doing here with this person. Even though that's, a, that's their competing company, you got to let them know, well, I ordered this from John and John and Steve and they competing companies, but I ordered this. So I need y'all to make sure that this is this lineup, but it's a mutual respect. But it's uh, it's interesting just. Put piecing all this together, then it like crossing my fingers like this crap better work because this stuff is custom. You can't return it. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, just emails and stuff going back and forth and just uh, planning that whole thing out. I'm, I'm excited to take that before and after picture of the current ride height and then once it's lowered, um, people's like, oh, you ain't going to do air ride? I didn't want to cut up and chop up my car with no air ride. It looks good on Instagram, but in the long run, it devalues your car and rides horribly. Anyway, that's what's uh, that's what got me feeling good. Yeah, I should start receiving stuff here soon. Uh, did Marcus say TBT? What? Yeah, CBT yeah. is uh, yeah, ending TBT is in ending June. In June. It'll be gonna do in the last, if, if we ain't already shot the last episode. Do you uh, so <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's coming to an end. Um. Yeah, it's uh, no longer, but these last these last couple of episodes have been great. So I think y'all gonna get the best of our episodes, yeah. these uh, ending episodes. So yeah, uh, tune in. Yeah, as y'all know, Kevin ain't wanted to do this since the second episode of TVT. Mm-hmm. So um, is uh, yeah, it well, no, not just that. Our I would say for about a year, the episodes have just been harder yeah. to do because the shows that we were. Um, Reviewing just weren't giving us a lot of meat to review. No, nah, and it's um, because, I, well, the last, for a long time, it's been on, uh, even though we were all together, it's been on Melissa's. When it was, when we do the mukbangs, that was Angel's thing. So we would go back and forth from reviews to mukbangs. Melissa's channel, Angel's channel, we'd go back and forth. But because we stayed on the reviews and people seemed to like them, we stayed over on the Review. We also so a lot of that leaned on Melissa, and we also had less time when we were doing yeah. reviews and mukbangs. We had more time, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. were shooting a review episode, and then right after that, eating and shooting the mukbang. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, reason yeah, yeah. why it stayed as reviews. Uh, um, but yeah, then the like it, it's not it, it ain't easy to review a show, especially the shows that we've been reviewing. <laughs> it's not as easy to review a show that you don't enjoy. That's the way I'll put it. Yeah. Um, and the, the Married at First Sight was just getting tiring to watch yeah. and finding Mar- the Married space. Married at First Sight was long episodes, long season, and it was not enjoyable. And then we did Sister Wives. Y'all know I hated that crap. Yeah, um, it was a it was a terrible was, season. The terrible season did not. I'm not into those type of reality shows anyway, so it's always been a chore. But when you're with other people that truly enjoy it, but even lately it's just been difficult. Didn't nobody enjoy that stuff. Well, before we jump into some more stuff, let's talk about 
not compromising, okay? We all know that there are things in life we have to compromise on. Like you got to compromise with your spouse on where you're going to go out to eat or where you're going on vacation or, uh, you know, if you want an apartment, is it in your budget? So, no, you might have to be like, well, let me look at something a little different in my price range. Um, or let's say the grocery store that you like to go to never has what you want, but it's nearby. So you have to figure out other things that you want to buy. But when it comes to your health, there should be no compromise. So don't go back to that one doctor who uses your appointment to catch up on the latest health uh, headlines, their family group chat, their crossword puzzles, just because they're available right now or that they take your slightly sketchy insurance. Instead, check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who make you feel comfortable and listen to you and you prioritize your health. And you can search by location, availability, and insurance. So literally no compromise here because ZocDoc, with ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. You can filter uh, specifically for ones who take your insurance and are located, located near you and treat basically any condition uh, um, you're looking for or you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. We use ZocDoc and so should you. It makes searching for a doctor so much easier. And also, you want that doctor that takes your insurance because you're paying for your insurance anyway, so you might as well use it, period. Go to ZocDoc.com slash argue and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash argue. ZocDoc.com slash argue. So we're going to do... Is it take it or leave? No. Take I don't know if it's it. I don't know if it's take it or tank it. If it's taking sides or if it's take, I think this is more of a TikTok o'clock without me actually having the video, and I'm a little frustrated because I can't find the video. Actually, what video is it? Uh, no, it's kind of obscure, so it's going to be hard to find. That's the reason why it wasn't going to fall under this category. Let me see if I saved it because I thought it was really good. <coughs> I thought it was actually really insightful. Let me see if I save that. We'll find out. I'll be saving videos and I don't be putting them in any type of like folder. I just save them. I'll be like, oh, that was interesting. Give me that. Yeah, I don't think I saved it. I don't. So I don't know what. I don't know what we're going to call it, but we'll just it's in one of these categories. And the thing the woman said was something about. If. You enjoy the journey, then that is the career for you. If you only are in it for the finished product, that's the job. Not the or the end result, not the finished product. If you're only in it for the end result, that's a job. Um, I mean, yeah. Where's yeah, I agree with that. Like it's uh, I think it's take it or tank it. Okay, let's take it or tank it. Yeah, if it was a, if if I could have been able to play it, we yeah. would have just been able to make it yeah, a TikTok yeah, nah. clock. Uh, because the reason I agree with that is, it's kind of hard to to put it on career and job. Because it was, I think, it's a woman who helps people find careers for them. Okay, and so that's why she's like, if you enjoy the journey, yeah, of whatever you're having to do <clears throat> inside yeah, of it, gonna, uh, it's yeah, a career. That's why I agree. It's just like because as long if, as long as you're employed. That's the journey. Mm-hmm. Every day you go to work, and as long as you're employed, you are on the journey. Mm-hmm. For most people, the end result is retirement. And if you're just working there. <laughs> no, and no, and this is what I mean by, let me, let me yeah. break it down nah. a little bit better. The journey being um, the process of the thing you're doing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Versus the end result is yeah. the paycheck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, I still agree. Because, uh, like, when I was... All my thing, all, everything I've done, like as far as my career, the what I'm doing when I was an electrician, when I was general contracting and you know quality control and stuff, 
especially when I was quality control, one of the things I truly enjoy doing is them bringing a problem to me. Mm -hmm. Or me going out, my goal was to go out and find an issue that I know is going to slow this project down at the end of the day. Uh huh. Or bringing a bringing a problem to me, like when, especially when I was an electrician, it's just like, oh, we got to get power from here to here. It's got to be up to code and hidden. And I'm like, that's a challenge. I love this. Mm -hmm. Bring it, yes. Mm -hmm. Bring me all of this. Even when I was uh, doing commercial uh, 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 maintenance and stuff, it's just like, oh, this stuff ain't working right, or the the building. Uh, Exhaust and uh, supply air, something's wrong. I'm like, yeah, let me. I enjoy that. So that's why yeah. I want to be a, a career because it, it was challenging. Had to go in, figure out what the issue was, troubleshooting all that. So I enjoyed that. For somebody that's just going there, getting through the week just to get the paycheck to get up out of there. Sometimes it did feel like that because a lot of times you're working with people you don't want to work with, mm -hmm. all that comes along. But when it came to me doing my actual job, I enjoyed it. That's a career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, and that was a nine to five. I was about to say you're not you having a nine to five, just going to get the paycheck, rushing through the week to hurry up to get to the weekend and then dreading Monday morning. I would say that's a job. Yeah. I mean, I personally would have been probably less of a like, come on, uh, come work over here with me if there was more flexibility in your job schedule. Mm -hmm. Um and you didn't dislike the path that you were yeah, on. Yeah, no, the path on that I ended up. I I didn't have. I would have had to switch companies. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because I was like the path that I was ended up on is what I was shooting for, and then once I was on that path, the company itself kind of did a switch, and I was just like, this ain't what I was looking at going toward. But now I'm here, so I got to work through it, and then it came became. Let me just hear it and do what I got to do and get the hell up out of here. Right, exactly. And so for me, it's just like you're not spending, you're not getting ample time with us as a family, and oh, you yeah, dislike the time, this. Yeah, the time away from my family was stupid. And you dislike this job? Then why are we doing this still? Like you yeah. might as well be over here and at least have the capability of being around your boys, being around me, yeah. making still making good money. Even if the process is not something or the journey is not something yeah. that you fully but, enjoy. Yeah. But at for least. me, it was safe. Like on your end, I, I could see the hills and valleys because I've experienced them with her. But I was like, I know that I can do this and I'm Gucci. Like I know. I'm right. You had become in. content with having just the job. Yeah. Um, and the safety. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the you were like, I will have a job if it's safety. Yeah, safety, it don't have insurance. to be a career. Yeah, it could just be a job because the safety yeah, like, overrode everything else. A, you know, not say women don't think like that, but a typical man mindset. As long as I can support y'all, I don't give a damn what I gotta do. I right don't. Th I think it is a string mindset. I don't think it has a anything string. to do with. I can only speak to men, so that's what I'm doing. N you can only speak to women. Don't do that. Well, I'm saying I no. you sound inaccurate. No, I'm though. not. Is that accurate. it's a string? Because as the man. <laughs> <laughs> I do 100% agree with that. And when I saw the video, it made me think of you. And I was like, huh, I wonder what process Marcus would enjoy. Because uh, right now, Marcus is very, very, very in result focused. Yeah. Yeah, even, even if I'm enjoying the journey, even yeah, even if I'm enjoying that journey, it's for the end result, and I enjoy that end result. But the thing is, is like it's almost like the difference between the way you treat these cars versus this career. The way you treat the cars, there seems like there is no end to these cars. Meaning, you're like, oh, I fixed this one thing. I'm gonna uh, do some customizations. Like it's like a never ending relationship of moving pieces and you enjoy mm -hmm. all where for me, when I hear about the cars, when he mentions another thing that has to be fixed to pay, for, I'm like, burn the cars. But for you, that's a part of having a classic car is the relationship that you get to have with it in the problem solving when things go, even mm -hmm. though the, the it pisses you off. If something goes wrong, that's not supposed to, you still dig into, well, let's problem solve it. Or like for instance, Marcus broke the little toggle that um uh rolls down oh, the yeah, window. Side window. Window. 
And obviously he was pissed off that he broke it. But then it became a project of let me order the part. Let me take the door apart. Let me put. So the car is not in result. It is the process and the journey of owning a classic car. Marcus as a content creator is very much so. And I think that's probably why you end up having like some, um, I don't want to say issues, but like getting started on some stuff is because the end result is so like in your mind that I don't know how much you get to enjoy the journey of it all. Does it make um, sense? It makes sense. Uh, very inaccurate analogy as far as the cars. Tell me why. Because the car is like Halo is at her end point. When I got the Continental, I already had an end point to get to. And once I get there, I'm done. Like, you ain't heard me doing nothing. The only thing I've been doing with Halo is driving it. No, because but then Other Halo then. be stopping working every now and then. But I don't enjoy that. <laughs> but I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna fix it, and I ain't gonna pay nobody to fix. It, so I'm gonna fix. So the the Continental has a has a deadline, an end result, and once I get there, that's it. So, but yeah, in this whole vein, in this career, yes, uh, that I'm I do struggle to find. I'm struggling to find it. I don't in this. I don't even see the end result. Let me talk. Could you talk? Well, go ahead. I, that's why I'm raising my hand and not yeah, interrupting you. But do you see how once Halo got to a place where there was no more tinkering needed, you added another tinkering car? I don't know. You don't see how you added another how tinkering car? How long have I had? Halo was finished um, two months after I got it. How long has it been? Like It ain't like, oh, now let me get something else to work on. No, I got another car that I liked. The car that I've always wanted, but more than Halo. If I found this first, I would have that car. I wouldn't even have Halo. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is, I even struggle to find the the project of the end result. Like I like I see, oh, I want this to look like this. Then I get it, and start doing it. Um, in this the the vein that we in is, I even have trouble finding the end project or the end result to even start the journey. That's what I'm saying, because you're focused on that end result. No, I don't even know what the end result is. Because you are focused on finding the end result, it is hard for you to start the journey. What you just said. Yeah, I'm not going to start a journey if I don't. I'm not going to go down a path and I don't know where the path is going and just start doing shit. Like, that's just not me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Um, I think I definitely... I think if we can figure out what journey you don't mind being on, and that's the, that's the thing that can be maddening about social media and content creating because the goalpost is always moving. Yeah. That end result, you, you could be thinking, yep. Eh. And then you're like, wait, yeah. y'all saying over there. So sometimes yeah, again, this is something that one in my, all the careers I've had when I first started, when I was dreaming of what do you want to do for a living? Or, I want to do this and own this company. Ain't nothing moving. Ain't no goalposts moving. That is a planted tree. Regardless of where the forest leads you, you know, all I got to do is get to that tree at the end. And that's where, you know, you enjoy the journey or not, but that's where you're going. And this, this new career, this new vein is just like the tree is a flying dandelion. That's the end result. It's like you just chasing down the road, whatever the hell. Like <laughs> It's a ball in a tornado. It's just like, where is it going to go? You have no idea. You just see the red ball over, you start running toward it, the ball might change colors, the ball might disappear, and you, now you're chasing something else. It's so chaotic. <laughs> All right, let's jump to the main topic. Amar! We have a very special guest. You all know him as the landlord. A lot of times he's a slumlord, but all the time he's our baby. And he's being defiant right now by not coming here. Amar Angel Anthony Tanksley. Hello. Coming. Come here. Ladies and gentlemen, one of you all's favorite is joining us. Come on. Say hello. Hello. Say it louder so they can hear you. Hello. All right. Tell them your name. Amar. Tell him your whole name. 
you remember your whole name? Amara, say your whole name, man. All right, we gonna you gonna sigh. No, he's still in here. You gonna tell him your first and last name? Um, I'm just trying to think how how I say my first and last name. Oh, I'll okay, tell you all of it. It's Amara. I'm like you do too much Angel talking. Anthony Tanksley to get on here and be get quiet. Amara Angel Anthony Tanksley. All right. Well, the people who are watching have some questions for you. Can you answer a couple of questions? Can you answer? Can can I ask you a couple of questions? Okay. All right. Amar, do you like having brothers? Yeah. What do you like about having brothers? Um, I like having brothers playing Roblox with me. Can you speak up so they can hear you better? I like having brothers playing Roblox with me. What about Roblox do you like? Um, Bed Wars. What is it called? Bed Wars. Bed Wars? Yeah. What happens on Bed Wars? Um, it's just because you just got to get anything you want, and then you just have to just kill people. Oh, God. You got to like, kill people. Like with, like with any sword. With swords? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um, Amar, do you have a favorite song? I don't know. Is there a Spider-Man song you like? Um, yeah. How does that spot? Can you sing it? How does that go? I don't know how to sing it. Is it the one that, um, what's that sunflower? What's that? What's that? Yeah. 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 And then she looked in the dark. And then she saw fire. My little sunflower. I know you love me too much. Is that the song? Yeah. Sing it. And then you left in the dust. Sing it. Can you sing it? Can you sing it? I just don't know the whole song. Okay, s sing the parts you know. As you know, good well, he ain't not sing no song. He be singing songs to me. Is there a song that you do know? Um, do you know the wheels on the bus? What's some song? I'm trying to think of one of the theme songs. What's the song they'll be playing in one of your videos? Um, um what? I don't know. He's so mesmerized by looking at y'all, y'all's comments moving, and now him being on screen. He's like, I can't even give y'all nothing. They said you're acting like your daddy. Who do you look like, your mommy or your daddy? Um, I'm who? I get it, Amara. You just don't like being put on the spot with no schedule. Just here, do this. I get it. Okay, last question. Who's your favorite brother? Sigh. <laughs> you see how quickly he answered that? Yeah, it changes. It changes on whether who's been playing uh, Roblox with him the most. Because Marcus is out of town right now, so it ain't him. Uh, what um, <laughs> What do you like about Daddy? Um, you can't think of anything right now. What do you like about mommy? I'm going to tell you right now, you're not a good podcaster. You have too much dead space. <laughs> he's, actually, like, he's like, I know. You, yeah. This was your idea. <laughs> what do you like about mommy? Um, I like about kissing you and hugging you. He likes about kissing me and hugging me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you done with the interview? You done with the questions? Yeah. You are? Okay. Tell them to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. See, that's the thing. I know he would sing a song. I know he would. You know Baby Shark? Do you know Baby Shark's song? Uh. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Get out of my lap. Okay. Tell Sai to come here. <clears throat> Look. Sai, come here. Move out of the way. You're done. Look, and now he's going to want to be all in the business. <laughs> Come over here. Let's see. You see this now? You see Amar all up in the business. Yeah, because he don't like being front and center. All right, Sai. Patreon has some questions for you. And hopefully you're ready to answer them. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. So you're going to have to bring your face closer to either Come daddy's on. mic or my mic. <clears throat> What do you think your best talent is, Sai? Hi. Well, first, sorry, sorry. First, say hello to everybody. Hi. Okay, and tell them your whole name. My name is Sai Wendell Anthony Tinksley. Okay, so what do you think is your best talent? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, like, I am a good runner, though. You are a good runner? Is there is there anything else you feel like you're really strong and y'all look so much alike? You look like your daddy. Uh, are you a good dancer? Are you a good singer? What do you think? I think I'm a good dancer. I do too. You pick up when I, we're doing like dance videos. He picks them up really quickly. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Any ideas? I might be a builder. I don't really know. Like a builder of what? Like skyscraper. No, your daddy wants you to. Like what? Stable, right? <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk close to the mic. Like what? Like skyscrapers. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wish. Up into the civil engineering and structural <laughs> reinforcement. Yeah. Um. Got some sense on it. You so silly. Uh, do you do you know that you have internet aunties? Do you know what those are? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so internet aunties are women who watch your mom and your dad's content, and because of that, and because of that, they know who you are as far as in what we show of you, and so they they from afar care about you and want you to do great in life. And so, just like you have real aunties that actually know you and care about you, they call themselves <laughs> internet aunties because they only know you through the internet, but they do care about you and want the best for you. So but this that don't mean uh, you still a stranger is still a stranger. So anybody <laughs> that walk up to you and be like, "Oh, I'm your internet auntie," they're still a stranger. Okay. okay. All right. Don't trust nobody. Uh, um. So, uh, sorry. How do you feel about? Amar coming to your school next year? Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is that I have to go to school one hour earlier. I don't think it's a whole hour earlier. I think it's only like 15 minutes no. earlier. Is that so bad? No, it's not that bad, but I can take it. You can take it? I believe it's it. I see my son just went straight, straight to, so how you feel about this? What I don't like about right. it. Right, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um... Okay, so do you have a favorite song? Um, I mean, there's a lot of songs that I know. Get closer to the mic. There's a lot of songs that I know. I remember one song. It was um, Riot. Bang. Bang. Who in here is going to start a riot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any song that you can sing for them? I don't really know that many songs. Uh-huh. But, yeah. 
You don't know? Okay, let me see if there's any other questions I can ask you before we switch it over to your... Oh, how do you like being twins? Um, I guess good because it makes it like a little bit faster when I have to do stuff. Wow. <laughs> so what about what makes it a little bit faster? Like when I'm putting up my clothes, it like it when I'm putting up clothes, it makes it a little bit faster, so I don't have to be like going back and coming back. To oh, because you all work together putting the clothes up. That's smart. Do people get you all confused still? Um, like, they do try guessing. They mostly get it right. Sometimes they get it wrong. Mm-hmm. Do you think you and Kai look alike? No. Neither do you. Anybody that thinks y'all that can't tell the difference between y'all is racist. <laughs> that is very racist. Uh, do you? Who do you think you look like? Do you look like daddy? <laughs> I think you look like daddy too. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing about um, daddy? Um, that he helps me a lot to build stuff that I need help with. And if there's something that broke, he can like fix it mm-hmm. pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And um, what do you like about your mommy? That she is very helpful and encouraging me to do a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Is there anything else you want to tell them at the end of your interview? That's it? Okay, tell them bye. Right. Go back in there. You didn't want to talk when uh, when you was up your time to talk. He's Amar. talking to Amar. <laughs> All right. Kai. Good job, Sai. Sai is very, he's naturally talented. He's really good at stuff very quickly or the first time he does it. Riz KT. Extremely fast. Riz KT is in the building. Um, Get on, on get in the middle. Back. No, right here. No, no, go around. Our children are on spring break and they look like it. They yeah, are dressed. They're on spring break. They don't care how they, well, they never, he usually cares, but uh, they ain't got no haircuts. Everybody is scruffy looking. It don't matter. All right. Kai, we've got questions from our audience. They are excited to get to know you. So first, tell them hello into the mic. Hi. And tell them your full. Yeah, you don't have to talk into him. And well, he was just trying to keep his body open and so they could see how beautiful he is. I know. Look at uh and when tell you me tell me your name, look into the camera when you tell your name. Look into the camera. Hi, I am Kai Jonathan Anthony Tanksley. And what do they call you at school? Uh, Kai Sinat. So say it in the mic. Kai Sinat. <laughs> if y'all don't know who, know who Kai Sinat is, he is a uh, very, very famous streamer. Very, I'm t- probably one of the, Kai Sinat. Now I got to look this person up. You've seen him before. He has I'm locks. Make sure he ain't doing something ignorant. Oh, yeah, no, the kids at school should not be watching this dude. Uh, that's what I figured. Yeah, I already told him that. Um, what I was saying recently on this uh, on this ep- a cop podcast. Go ahead. Okay, Kai, let's look at some of the questions that they have for you. Do you know what you want to, something that you might want to be when you grow up? No, not really. You don't, you don't have any ideas of what you think you want to do? Now, this is the thing about Kai. So, hold on. We're going to reset. Kai be trying to be so smooth about stuff that no, not really is his way to be smooth, even if he actually has an answer. So, we're going to reset. Now, what's something that you have thought, I might want to do that when I grow up? I guess be a rapper. Say it in the mic. I guess be a rapper. N- never knew that. We're feel- finding that today. But Kai do be freestyling, and he be doing this with his hands when he freestyles. <laughs> so he wants to be like his mom. Got it. What do you think is... 
<laughs> I was rapping start. long before 43. You're going to have to start rapping at 43. No. <laughs> Your daddy's a hater. Your daddy used to be a rapper too. Mm-hmm. I was. Guess what I guess how I fed you though. <laughs> Would you mean? I was a general contractor. <laughs> okay, but his mama's feeding him with a rap as a rapper too. <laughs> wouldn't have been alive because you would have been starving. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I just now started taking it seriously. The, but you already know you know about a- MC Halo, so don't act like this is just the beginning of Angel's rap career. Um, Kai, what do you feel like is one of your talents? I guess I'm no, 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 no. I'm talking to the mic. I guess I'm good at basketball. No. Oh, this, he, this boy's confidence is... Something that it, I wish I could bottle up and give everybody. Tell me what makes you feel like you're good at basketball. Um, I, don't know. I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> is it the fact that you better than size that would make you <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when did it turn to being a rapper? You've never said rapper. When did you say rap is the thing that I want to do? never really said this when did you start feeling like i want to rap i'm not really sure i forgot <laughs> this i'm telling you riz kt is going to hit me with the i'm not really sure type of situation um guy do you think you're popular um, a, little. a little well why a little and not a lot I'm not really sure. It just I'm telling y'all I know this child. Like the back of my hand. I mean, because like if I were to say a lot, I wouldn't have a reason to say um why a lot and not a little. Okay, and why okay, listen. Do you miss your big brother being gone? Oh yeah. This me you got yeah, try to talk into the mic, baby. You, do you miss your big brother being gone? Yeah. What about him being gone? Do you miss what? What is it? What is it that you miss the most about him being gone? Oh, uh, I mean, because usually when we're playing games, uh, the games that I play with Sai, I'm usually um, better than Adam at them. So it's uh. like Pokemon Unite actually. Kai's Pokemon what? Pokemon Unite. That's the game that. Yep. Oh, okay. Is it important to you to be competitive with Sai? Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. Do you like having a twin? Uh, yeah. What's the best part? Uh, you usually have somebody to play with. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Just here so I don't get fired. <laughs> Sorry. But this is also the dude that be wanting to be in front of the camera. And all this stuff. Rapper, you got to be, you, you got to get arrested. Or no, you, gonna, you better not. Or you going to be fake like Drake. Do you want to hit him with a freestyle? Um, I don't really have one right now. Well, that's not a freestyle. Freestyles, you're making it up on your head. On the spot. Do you want to hit him with a freestyle? <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay, first, before we let you go. What's your favorite thing about your dad? Talking to the mic. Um, he's he's taught me a lot of stuff. Oh, like what? What your daddy did taught you? Um, how to ride my bike. Uh, uh, he helped me uh, at basketball. Okay, okay. Give your dad a high five for that. Okay, what's your? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about your mom, Kai? Um, you're really funny. Well, thank you. Say it in the mic for the people. You're really funny. Okay, what else? Said, Don't worry, Kai. Most rappers can't freestyle. I know. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, most rappers they can't they can't freestyle. At least not nowadays. What else? Um, she she always put me in a good mood. Oh, 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 oh,
Anything else you want to be able to share with the Patreon and our audience while you got them? This episode, they all are over here just so they could hear y'all talk. And they heard about your Riz. They heard about your level of Riz. Uh, riz. How can they get more Riz? Um, Say anything? Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. That helps you get more Riz. And what would you say your level of Riz is? All the way at the top. All the way at the top. So you're getting an expert on Riz to tell you how to get more Riz. Like, I don't think they realize how lucky they are to be in your presence. <laughs> tell them bye. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> this Riz shit. Here, can you go back in there with your No, he's fine. He's sitting up there. Amar is now working on... Uh, the cameras, so it is so funny. Our, what we what we realize, excuse me, what we realize is that you all, when we capture their personalities, when they're not paying attention, you get to see them authentically. Yeah, when you when it's specifically asked, that's where it, I mean, naturally, you know, kids are shy. Shy is the most comfortable in front of the camera has always been the most comfortable in front of the camera. Yeah. Where Kai is very much so about the people in front of him, not the people behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, now he don't want to uh, see the people. Like, he can see y'all's comments coming in. So he's just mm -hmm. like, uh, Well, no, like, like uh, he don't mind being like a, like a, you know, like all swaggy or whatever at school, and those are real people. Like he was Prince yeah. Charming those in the people, play. Yeah, those are people he's he knows and is comfortable with. That's a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm uh, continuing to have these talks with him. Oh yeah, when he said Casanat, I said I know who Casanat is. Yeah, I don't even know who it is. Oh no, the first time I saw Casanat, it made me think of Kai. Yeah. Absolutely, but he's not making content for kids, and it's not like he's making. Terrible content yeah, either. It's nah, just not appropriate right, for kids. But, yeah, that's the one. He's now. the one who ended up getting fined because he was giving away PS5s in New York. And it caused for all the street, like a bunch of streets to get backed up because like hundreds and th of thousands of people showed up. Oh, really? He didn't get any permits or nothing like that. And it just caused kind yeah. of havoc. <laughs> so he was just like, well. He's like up there, like if you think of a Drewski, yeah. Tyson, that's how, right. yeah. Anyways, oh, did you have something else you wanted to say before we end? No. Huh? No. All right. The, you, you all see. Like mm. a parrot chirped up, a, perched up on the. Could you stop? Yeah, quit, quit, babe. Can you stop, I'm not please? going to no hospitals today. Get in. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a kiss on my cheek. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Tanksley Pride Field episode. Spring break is here, and the kids are with us where we go. Um, we'll be back on our regular scheduled programming um, after this week, meaning if you're a part of our Patreon and you're used to watching us film live on Mondays, we will not be filming on April the 1st, but we will be back on April the 8th filming normally. We still got, uh, I think we have uh, some Mama Likes products still available. I know there's something wrong with how they're showing up on the website. So I appreciate your patience. I'm going to get my attention over there. Uh, attention. My attention. There's still tickets for the Detroit and Philadelphia show. If you want to see, here's the thing. Baby, tell them what you need to tell them. Uh, I ain't got nothing to tell y'all. Bye. <laughs> nah, hey, y'all, you know, y'all can find me Instagram, Marcus on the Ground, Facebook, Marcus on the Book. For now, TikTok and Tank Don't Talk. Uh, got a bit of body butter, man shit, M A N S H Y T dot com. You can go over there and get you some smell good. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Patreon, we'll holler at y'all sooner than later. If you ain't on Patreon, you ain't going to see us till next week. All righty. So until. Next time, y'all be blessed, and we'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be good, fam. Bye! Hey.